Hi, Virgo. This is Meg with Padme's. I'm doing your, your Tarotscope for September 2020. And we're calling in your angels and guides of the highest vibrations of love and light. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Collective, Virgo. Calling in our angels and guides of the highest vibrations. I don't want to talk to anyone else. And what is going on? Angels and guides for Virgo, September 2020. Wow. All right, Virgo. It looks like your angels and guides are talking about some kind of huge change, huge swisheroo, huge something coming to a close, coming to an end, coming full circle. So let's just look at past, present, future. That's what I'm looking at first or what's catching me first. So in the past, there has been this energy of satisfaction. In the past, there has been some feeling grounded, feeling like all the resources are there, feeling like you're on top of your game. This even could be a person in the past who was helping you. I even want to say who you thought was helping you, so that might have shifted or something. But there's somebody who seemed grounded, seemed there, seemed there with you, seemed solid, stable, secure. Presently, it's talking about getting over some anxiety about some emotional, some emotional upset. I feel like you have been completely triggered, Virgo. Somebody has triggered the unicorn snot out of you. And how do they do that? This is about, this is either being left out of something or somehow somebody, I feel like somebody didn't stand up for you. There was a situation where you would have felt like this person or somebody would have been loyal in a different way, or you needed them to be loyal in a different way, and it pushed some inner child of buttons. And this has led you to your trajectory, which is the nine of wands. So making some boundaries, making some emotional boundaries. It's kind of like you're not not cutting someone off necessarily, but like shutting down to the extent that uh, it looks like you have, it's like I've gone on too long this way and I'm not seeing this changing in the future. I feel like maybe this person is like this. And so I'm choosing to shut down. That's what I hear you saying, Virgo, this is, I've just been carrying this, letting it be okay for too long, and it's not okay. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, Virgo, I do see that there's something still it's like it's like it's not quite over yet your advice is talking about a new door opening so you do have a different opportunity you have a an opportunity to do things differently say things differently accept behavior and treatment differently you have the opportunity to do it differently you don't have to do it the way you've been doing it This is definitely coming from a place where you are, it looks like here we've got the queen of wands, but she is reversed. That is coming from a place of not happy, not happy, pissed off. And this is kind of provoked, you know, like something happened to piss you off. You're not just upset. There's something specific that happened that is not okay, that makes you upset, that makes you emotionally distressed. Your higher self is talking about a huge change and a huge shift. Your angels and guides are talking about possibly somebody with an addiction. This can be any kind of addiction, shopping addiction, sex addiction, drugs, alcohol. This can be 
thought pattern addiction, but there's something that is patterns and themes that aren't serving you that are hard to let go of or even hard to recognize in order to let them go. Like you might think you have it all under control or this person might think this is a choice. This isn't a problem kind of thing, whatever it is. But this would be hard to see it, to identify that this is an issue that needs to be shifted because it's not working for my highest and greatest good. But there's definitely some kind of full circle going on here around this too. Okay, Virgo, so even though your advice is saying you have a new opportunity, you have a door open to you, you can take it. Maybe it's a door actually to see differently, to see this addiction or this oppressive thing differently. And your resistance though is saying, I don't think I can ground into something different exactly. I don't see this changing in the future, but I don't think that I can ground differently or be stable differently. So there's some resistance there, even though the doorway is there, even though there's a way, a way to break loose, to break free. All right, I am gonna use Lenormand here, get a little clarity. I wanna know more about the big picture. So the big picture, is this full circle. Something has ended and it's something that hasn't, well, I mean, it's something that hasn't felt awesome. So what's going on with the big picture? What's going on with this thing that's come full circle? This card often is like, maybe sometimes this is the best thing that could have happened because there's no way but up now. Yeah. So we have the birch rod from Lenormand. And I'm just going to read this. Birch rod brings strife to what should be bliss. To husband and wife, all has gone amiss. Prepare for sorrows that dampen the day, begotten of quarrels that bring much dismay. This is almost like arguments and fights and bad arguing habits. Something was said that triggered some childhood issues that ha this incident has changed the dynamics somehow because you are shut down in a way that is different than you've been shut down before. And it changes how things go in the future. There's one way the future was looking and now it's like the future is different. So let's see about this big change that's happening, Virgo. There's some kind of paperwork. There's a letter, there's an email, there's paperwork. There's some kind of information or communication that is coming to you or that did come to you that changes everything something like that. And this has to do with another woman, whether that woman is you or friend or someone else. But it looks like communication from a lady. Okay. It's like, I put up with this for too long. Wow. And you even get the cross. This is like the cross to bear. I've I've put up with this. I've accepted this. I've been dealing with this for too long. Okay. So Virgo, the next card that wanted to come out was Clover. So this is about kind of that luck, kind of that page of wands in your advice. It's like, there's a door that's open. Take this spark of energy and walk through the door. Take the spark of energy and walk through that next walk through to that next experience there's something delightful and wonderful and feels like luck and like things being on your side energy time being on your side people being on your side it's like you can walk into a different situation around this and it it can feel better it can feel more than better it can feel lucky all right virgo 
I am asking the Avalon Oracle. Ooh, your angels and guides. What do they want to tell you? Huh? The Grail Knight. Romance illusion. Seeking the sacred. So this does look like some romance. This would be the Knight of Cups. So this is the pursuer. This is someone who wants to offer you love and pursues you. I want to ask your angels and guides. Do you have more that you want to say? Let's see. There we go. Letting go. It's almost like letting go, walking through the door. This one wanted to come up, the butterfly. This is about leaving the chrysalis. It's about being ready to leave the chrysalis, being ready for transformation, being ready for change. This is also about evaluation of yourself. It's self-evaluation. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you now? Who do you want to be? If you're not who you want to be right now, I even hear you can fix it, but you can shift and evolve into whatever it is that you're wanting to do or be right now. So that's the butterfly. Letting go also has to do with kind of like hard work. Um, you've done the hard work. And that new relationship or that new offer of pursuing what you love, if that's not a person, that can be you pursuing what you love. And that has to do with kind of like having grace, having grace, having someone help you. Someone's there to help you. I wanna say physically, our guides and angels always, but someone, you have a friend or you have a knight who is willing to help you. There's um, harmony that's in your path, that's in your field that's being offered to you. I love it, Virgo. Let me know. Let me know how this pans out, how this unfolds. And I really like how this ended on a really supportive note. But let me know how that goes. Tell me in the comments. Looking forward to your, your mid-month love reading for sure. I'll talk to you soon, Virgo.